Today, we're going to talk about using a cutting torch. We don't do much oxyfuel welding here in your welding program, but we do do a lot of cutting. So, short video today, we're going to talk about how to turn this torch on and light it up. Not too bad, right? We'll set that down here for a second. Come on up here on the gauges. So, we have oxygen and we have acetylene. First step that we do is we turn the oxygen all the way on. We got to turn that oxygen all the way on because of the type of valve that's in, the, in the here to, to avoid deterioration of the valve. This gauge shows us our tank pressure, which is about 1500 PSI. There's nothing on this gauge because this is the working pressure. That's what this regulator does is it takes high pressure gas, converts it down to working pressure. We'll go over here. Now remember, oxygen goes all the way on. Acetylene, we're only going to turn on quarter to half a turn. We're only going to turn it on quarter to half a turn because if something happens and a fire starts, we want to be able to come over, boom, shut the fuel gas off. So we're going to turn this on a little bit. Now what we're going to do is grab the torch and if you look, all of this is color coded. Acetylene is red. This is an F for fuel gas. Oxygen is green. Green. We can even go down to the hoses are color coded. Red and green. All of this is color coded. Oxygen and fuel gas. First thing I'm going to do is I need to open up the valve on the torch to allow gas to flow through to set my working pressure. So the first thing we're going to do is set the acetylene. I'm going to crack this open. There's nothing coming out of it yet because I haven't adjusted the working pressure. There's tank pressure and here's working pressure. Now I'm going to bring this in and you can hear the gas starting to flow. And I'm going to set this at about five pounds, turn the valve back off. Now my fuel gas is set at the working pressure that I need, five to seven pounds. We only ever use five to seven pounds. What we never do is turn this up to 15 pounds. See where the red line is? That's where acetylene gas starts becoming unstable when it's more than 15 PSI. But anything you do in this program, all you need is five to seven pounds. Now we're going to move to the oxygen. Our gas is on, our fuel gas is on, we're going to move to the oxygen. So we have two oxygen dials. This one, we're going to turn on all the way. We're just going to open it up. And what that does is allows the oxygen into the mixing chamber to go to this valve. So there's no oxygen coming out of the torch right now. I turn this one on, there's still no oxygen coming out because we haven't set the working pressure yet. So I open up all the valves so they're wide open, just like a garden hose. I come in and I bring in the working pressure. The working pressure should be about 40 to 50 PSI. And I shut the valve back off. Now we're charged. Our torch is charged. Our working pressures are set. Okay? Keep in mind that each one of these torches, even by brand, this happens to be a Victor, there's also Smith torches, there's Harris torches. These are proprietary torches. And each one of these tips have a marking on them, a stamp on them that's a number or a letter. And your instructors can provide you with a chart that shows you what kind of working pressures for the tip that you're using. The tips have holes in the end of them. Some of the holes are smaller, some of them are bigger. Some of these tips are longer for thicker metal, bigger torches. So your reference to find out what kind of working pressures to set your torch at come off from a chart that's provided by the company that makes the torch. So now we're all set. Our oxygen is on all the way. Our acetylene is on half a turn. We open up the valves. We set our working pressures and now we're ready to light a flame. So I'm going to come over here and this is simply a sparker. All this does is spark to light your torch. 
That's all this thing does. So what I'm going to do to light this torch is I'm going to turn the fuel gas on about half a turn. About half a turn. I'm going to bring my sparker up and the torch will light. Now if you light this torch and you have just a little bit of gas, you can see that big, thick, nasty smoke. That's not enough fuel gas. So we're going to bring this fuel gas up a little bit more and a little bit more until that smoke disappears and just turns into a light gray smoke. Once I have my fuel gas set, I'm going to start adding my oxygen up here because remember, this one's already wide open. So this is our control. Now I'm going to slowly add oxygen in. Turn it on very slow and watch what happens to the flame. Now that's a nice neutral flame. You can see that it's not loud and screaming. Most importantly, those inner, inner feathers of that flame are about a quarter of an inch off from the tip. I can turn it up a little, a little more gas, a little more oxygen, and now our flame is set. The only other thing to talk about is the lever. When I hit this lever, now I'm going to have a direct blast of oxygen going through the center of the tip to blow the molten metal out of the way. What you don't want is that inner envelope, those feathers, to be loose like that because when I push the oxygen, it's not going to direct the oxygen correctly for a nice clean cut. So I want to push the lever and then adjust the oxygen to pull that feather down in tight. At this point, I'm ready to start cutting. My flame's adjusted correctly, my working pressures are good, oxygen works great. Stay tuned for another video on how to actually make the cut.